Um, so uh, I'll, I'll start with a brief introduction. My name is Nikhil Marathe, as he said. Uh, I am here to talk about the Global IP Alliance. Uh, it's really an organization that is young. Uh, we just launched in October of last year, but really has a 20-year history of uh, driving innovation in society. And uh, one of the reasons why we are here is uh, uh, because I think this is a value and it, it's a good time uh, for something like this for India and the world. So uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll talk about how it all started. Uh, about 20 years ago, uh, Scott Frank, who's the CEO of at and Intellectual Property, uh, was on the IP advisory boards of two universities, uh, the Georgia State and Georgia Tech in, in Georgia State uh, in the US. And he was on, uh, as he was putting those programs together for those two universities, what he realized was that uh, a lot of IP organizations were there uh, around, uh, focused on IP, but they were talking more about IP from their own uh, constituency. So there were IP organizations talking about cor uh, IPO, you know, about corporates. Uh, there were inventor organizations. Uh, there were university IP organizations. Uh, but they were not talking to each other as they should to drive innovation in society because IP is really about citizens of the world and citizens of, of the country. So uh, he started putting programs, uh, he put a team together, and those two universities, they, um, uh, they put almost 50 programs uh, over the last 20 years on an annual basis, so 50 programs every year, uh, that brought together parts of the IP ecosystem that had not bring, been uh, brought together. For example, they started a venture cap IP roundtable to try, uh, uh, help a venture capitalist understand the value of IP. Uh, they started a corporate IP roundtable to bring corporate IP personnel together. Um, and as that started you know, getting traction, it really became so big uh, that in 2018, they formed the Georgia IP Alliance, so which was the first IP Alliance. It was a separate nonprofit. Uh, lots of excitement in Georgia. Again, this was Georgia-based. Um, and as they, uh, as those events started spreading, the word, word got around uh, that there is an organization, it's an umbrella organization, you can see the logo there, um, um, and uh, the USPTO was interested. Uh, there were other national US IP organizations that were interested, and in 2020, uh, with their support and encouragement, we launched the US IP Alliance. Uh, the reason I'm giving you this story is because this is uh, a story of successful, uh, successfully bringing together uh, intellectual property organizations from the entire stakeholder system in IP. Uh, Dr. Pandit talked about uh, IP being the key that, that solves, uh, solves innovation and, and so helps society, solves uh, society's problems. This is, this is uh, one of the ways in which we are we're doing it on a global level. So 2020 again, the US IPA is launched. Um, yeah, very successful. We uh, have a board that is 100 people large. Um, and as we started you know, putting together uh, the US IP Alliance uh, board, uh, there were international organizations that realized there is value to something like this on a global scale. That is where the Global IP Alliance comes into picture. Now, uh, let me tell you a few things uh, that, uh, that, that we do and that we don't do. So first of all, uh, let, me, let me actually share the next slide. So why another IP organization? There are so many IP organizations already out there. What makes the Global IP Alliance different? And so we decided there were three things that uh, we wanted to focus on. The first one was IP awareness and education. We believe, the Global IPA uh, Alliance believes, that every single citizen of the world needs to know about IP. So when you think about IP, it's not about fo you know, focused on lawyers or focused on corporates. It's re really about the common person. Today, IP is the reason why cars are safe because of airbags. Uh, we are safe because of vaccines. We are safe because of drugs and uh, uh, medicines that are being uh, derived the basis of all of that is IP. Every single person in this world touches IP. They don't realize that it does. And that is one of the things that we want to make people aware of. IP is a benefit to society. And how can we use IP to benefit society and bring that knowledge and awareness to the audience? So the first pillar that we focus on the Global IP Alliance is uh, awareness and education. 
The second thing is the IP ecosystem collaboration. So when we think about the IP ecosystem, there are three parts to it. One is the creators. These are the people that create IP. It's inventors. It's artists. It's uh, chefs. It's, it's sports people. Um, all of them, uh, universities, lots of IP being created there. All of them are part of the creator community. They need to be part of the conversation. Second one is protectors. Uh, we have protectors, they have uh, uh, patent offices around the world, lawyers, IP strategists, IP business people, they are the people that drive IP uh, 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 and protect them uh, in this ecosystem. And the third one is enablers. Enablers are the people that fund IP. We often talk about IP just being, uh, you know, it, it's not a theoretical uh, uh, a thing. It really, ha it really creates value for society only when it's funded, and that funding mechanism is uh, done at scale. That is what most organizations, most countries are trying to do at, uh, you know, around the world. And what we do is we want to bring those enablers at, to the table and hear from them how we can improve the system and really benefit society. Again, uh, this is the optimal ecosystem that we believe uh, is going to drive change. Uh, the third thing uh, we focus on is diversity and inclusion. Um, that diversity can be gender diversity, uh, uh, whether you're rich or poor, black or white, irrespective of who you are, how you look like, whether you have money or not, your ideas are important. It's important to get those ideas from head to people's hands so you can benefit society, and that's what we want to do using uh, the Global IP Alliance. That's, that's the mission. If you look at our uh, foundation, it's people, relationships, and trust. Uh, if there is no trust in this ecosystem, it's, things are not going to work out well. Uh, and that's we've seen in the past, right? So we want uh, the entire ecosystem to be here. Uh, we want them engaged on the board. If you, uh, uh, Georgia, uh, the Georgia IP Alliance, which is five years old, has over 100 people on the board. The US IP Alliance has 100 people on the board. We are expecting a lot of people on, you know, large boards because we need all of those voices at the table as we go forward. Um, I'm going to share a few more slides. This is a slide that I kind of uh, just symbolizes how we do what we do. So this is the US IPA, uh, IP network of networks. What the IP alliances are, uh, are really bringing together all IP organizations uh, to drive benefit for society. You can see how many uh, inventor organizations are there. There, are, uh, there is Autumn, there is IPO, there is obviously WIPO, uh, the US Patent Office. Again, bringing all of them together to the table and driving value for the benefit of society. Going back to the uh, pillar slide, you can see empowering intellectual property to advance society is what we are trying to do. So again, to advance society for the citizens, uh, we really need the uh, all of these stakeholders together. Let me share one more slide. This is uh, a slide uh, shows you the, the, where we stand with the Global IP Alliance. We have over 60 countries represented, more than 200 d diverse groups of people uh, that are there. Again, it's lawyer, uh, uh, majority of them today but we want to change that. We want to get all st stakeholders on that. The way we spread the Global IP Alliance in the beginning was through the law legal network because they are the, you know, they are the forefront of uh, IP in their countries. Uh, but as we go forward, uh, we are putting together five regions. We actually have those five regions in place today. Uh, North America, Latin America and Caribbean, Europe and West Asia, Africa and East Asia and uh, Australia and New Zealand. So those are five regions that are in place today that, that are driving uh, and on a local level uh, driving change to bring the entire IP uh, ecosystem together. Um, that's really the, the focus of what I wanted to talk about. Um, so when we really think about uh, you know, getting involved, there are people from around the world here uh, I think it's important for you to take this message to your own countries. Uh, for those in India, this is a great time for India to have an India IP alliance. Uh, the, the reason being because for, for all of the, uh, the speakers in the morning, very impressive uh, advances that are happening here, uh, but there's a lot of work to be done. Uh, people need to understand the value of IP and how it can change their lives. The word there is important. 
uh, that's the reason why we are, uh, we, are, we, are, we are trying to change those perceptions and, and help everybody. Um, that's really it. Uh, I wanted to, again, thank uh, the organizers for giving, giving us this opportunity to speak. Um, and I'll be happy to answer any questions. By the way, the one thing that I did want to mention is uh, Dr. Uh, Mr. Anand, Praveen Anand, is he here? He's on the Global IP Alliance Executive Committee as well with us. Oh, there he is. Hello. Thank you. Thank you for being here. If you have any questions, uh, we are planning to be around uh, this afternoon. So, and, and Mr. Anand is probably going to be around for, for a few days as well. So uh, please do ask questions. Uh, and we, we really like uh, all of you to join. Um, th uh, th there's a few things, actually, uh, before I hand off. Uh, a few things we don't do, uh, we don't charge fees. So any membership to the Global IP Alliance, is uh, there's no cost to that. Uh, we do not do lobbying. So one of the things that we have uh, decided is uh, we are not going to get involved in the legislation itself, although organizations on our board do get involved because many countries need the help uh, you know, from a legislative pers uh, perspective. Uh, the other thing we don't do is we don't compete with the organizations that are on, uh, on that umbrella. You can see our logo is an umbrella. We're really an umbrella organization bringing all of the IP organizations together. So we don't compete with them. We want to enhance. Uh, we want to simplify uh, the, the cross-connects, uh, amplify your work, uh, and unify all of us uh, to drive IP for the advancement of society. Thank you.